Great to have you with us, my friends. It's Tom in Columbus, Ohio. We roll on on Open Line Friday. Hi. Hey. If, if conflicting reports stop the truth in Benghazi, which was a planned, small, organized terrorist attack from being told because of the fog of war and all those things for two weeks, then why report the wrong one about an angry mob upset about a video for weeks? If they were in search of the truth and they were worried about the fog of war and they didn't want to say... Well, because... It was, because when it when it first happened, they could not allege the fog of war because there wasn't a war. We, well, I we, know. We, we had... why for, I'd like for Hillary to answer the question as to why for two weeks they didn't want to say it was an organized terrorist attack because in her words, she said conflicting information, fog of war. Then why report an angry mob for two weeks? And why would they go ahead and say, okay, we don't care about the conflicting reports to stop the... She essentially, she wasn't specifically asked that, but she was asked she repeatedly about the video yesterday, and, and right. she so ends up maintaining that it was still a factor. She was, was still it lying about it. Through the, she's just going to lie in any answer, right. Tom. Well, I think it's, it should, she'd have to choose. Either we had all this information coming in, so for two weeks we blamed a video, which... The information, 99% of it was it was an organized terrorist attack. 1% of it was it was an outraged, angry mob that was happening in other countries that maybe... I mean, do you think that's... I would make her say, our administration believed it was an angry mob. So that tells more about maybe she is that stupid. Maybe that this administration looked at all the evidence and for two weeks thought... It's an angry mob outrage. And one guy in the corner said, you know, guys, after two weeks, maybe maybe all these other angry mobs. Hey, wait, let me, I'm, I'm getting, is this, is this what, are you wishing the hearings were still going on and somebody would ask her this? You're absolutely correct. And somebody should ask her that in the debate. Okay, but you know that's not going to happen because she's through testifying. Well, I know, but I'd, I'd make her answer that question. Were you totally incompetent for two weeks blaming the wrong information, or were you trying to get Barack Obama well, elected by saying there's no terrorism, well, the, there was an angry mob, and we couldn't do anything? No, that, the, that allegation was made yesterday. Uh, the guy, um, oh, I'm in the middle of it, Haska, Haska, Haskam, uh, point blank accused her of concocting the excuse for political reasons, and she just... No, Congressman, no, no. I, I don't know, Congress. No, no, of course not, Congress. She just denied it. Look, they did, a couple people yesterday did a bang-up job of exposing the lie on the video. Well, not just the one from Alabama, but, but Susan Brooks from Indiana, too. I mean, just blew Hillary out of the water a couple of times, but it, you see, it, it didn't matter. This is, this is my whole point, Tom. The script for this was written long before yesterday. The script in the media, which is what matters. It's a sad reality, but the vast... You, you have to understand something. Everybody, I, I, this is not meant as criticism at all, so please don't take it this way. Fox News, on a good day, has two million people watching a newscast. That's it. And that's the only place in the media that the questions that embarrass Hillary and her answers, which are unflattering and embarrassing, it's the only place those answers are aired. Two million people. Now, you might have people posting this on Twitter and on Facebook to try to expand the universe. We play the audio sound bites here and so forth. So more than two million people see it. However, when it hits Twitter and Facebook, there's a whole army of Democrats that are out there refuting it, accusing all the posts of being filled with lies and so forth. The bottom line is that ABC, CBS, NBC, CNN, you name it, do not show any of this. In fact, they're doing the opposite. They're out there talking about how brave, what stamina she had, how great her temperament was, and how she blew the Republicans out of the water. So it doesn't matter what she says. This is why 
I was able to predict on Monday what was going to happen here. No matter what, ha- unless the inexplicable happened and she admitted that she and Obama concocted a lie for political reasons. And even then, the drive-bys would try to save her. Even if she did that, they would concoct a, 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 a way of saving her and blame that on a lapse brought on by the just the mean-spirited, extreme questioning of these totally biased, chauvinist, war-on-women Republicans. So no matter what happened, the story was going to be written that she triumphed and that she overcame this effort to destroy her, that the Republicans are once again laying in wait. Um... That's why I, 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 I didn't. I was hoping to avoid everybody being so frustrated. Even though I'm, I'm with you on the frustration, as I said when the program opened today. But this was well. I had, I had to set expectations. People, this, this was, this was not going to be that long sought moment where the Clintons or one of them was destroyed. This was not going to be the moment where they were exposed as the frauds and the liars and whatever else you think they are, are. That was not going to happen in this thing yesterday. No matter how good the Republicans happened to have been, no matter how thorough they investigated, it just wasn't going to happen. If something like that is ever going to happen, it's going to, the Clintons are going to have to be the sole architects of the action. Whenever the Republicans are involved in interrogating, questioning, or appearing with it, it's, it's impossible. The media is always going to side with the, with the Clintons, with Hillary. Look, she's the Democrat Party future. The media is not going to allow her to be thrown overboard, and they're not going to allow her to be destroyed. Even if she's the one that comes close to destroying herself, they're not going to permit it. So it, it's... that There isn't... A scenario that could have happened yesterday where, well, at least not not like the caller said, well, you know what, you really need to ask her, how come you didn't say fog of war for the first two weeks? Why were you lying about the? They brought that out. I mean, the fact that they were lying about the video was fully exposed yesterday. They could not have done it better. The Wall Street Journal and some conservative media has, has every example of Hillary's fraud reported today. It could not have been done better. Jim Jordan did a great job. Trey Gowdy did a great job. Susan Brooks, they all did a great job. This whole notion that the video was a lie and a made-up political maneuver was fully exposed yesterday.